morning guys um, so caught the sun a little bit uh, it's first time since I've been here which is quite good a bit of a snuffly nose as well which isn't cool but. so I've just come back from a week at camp uh, Bryce Fair Bryce Fair is the area or the field station should I say um, on the PG dip course that um, focuses its conservation efforts on the echo parakeets so this week we've done a variety of different things we've done some GPS site work uh, where we've been given some points and we've got to go and find the GPS which will be a nest box um, we've done some nest box watches which is where you sit down you watch the nest box all the activity that goes around it be that echo parakeets spring neck parakeets um, invasive species um, predators and so on um, we've done some tree climbing so in order to access the next boxes you need to get up the tree so using a pulley system with ropes harnesses um, you access the tree um, we did a, another form of tree climbing called taping which is where you have like these slings and you wrap them on the tree and you basically shimmy your way up that was pretty cool um, and we did some nest box repairs so we made some nest boxes um, from scratch and then we also accessed some nest boxes that were had already been built and that were already in use pulled them down repaired them so it's been an awesome week so far I've got a fortnight now I've got a fortnight now in between the week that I've just done and my next week because we spend two weeks at, uh, uh, at camp um, which is my next two weeks I'm going to be, I've got a taught module and I've got um, a my deadline, my hand in date for my exams and for my first module's assignment um, and then I go back uh, so I've got a bit of a break um, but yeah that's what this video is all about it's this is like an introduction um, to my first week at camp so enjoy
camp. It's my second day. Um, got to be kind of quiet because I'm doing a bird watch at the moment. So uh, I'm currently sat sort of in the middle of nowhere, um, looking up at one of the PVC uh, Echo Parakeet nest boxes. Um, got to sit here for an hour and a half. Used a selection of GPS trackers, um, compass, and some rough description of the site to make my way here. Um, thought I was almost lost for a bit, but uh, I think I was alright. Um, so I've got about an hour and a half to sit here and, and do the watch, um, writing down as many behaviours and things as I think are, are relevant. Um, I've then got to find and enter another set of coordinates and find another nest box or cavity and do another run half. Um, it's been great so far. Uh, we've just done the mor a morning of tree climbing, I've done some taping. So you basically climb up the tree um, without being attached to it as such. Um, you've got some ropes tied around the tree for your foot and for your sort of chest support. You've got a harness on and you sort of shimmy your way up. Um, and we also did it with ropes and everything. And this is in order to uh, access the nest boxes. So that was awesome. Quite hard, a lot harder than, well, initially it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But um, it was such fun. Um, it, it, I've been here a day and it's already been so great. Um, so yeah. Right, so the uh, first bird watch is done. I'm uh, following the GPS onto the second one. Uh, I didn't get myself lost and I'm back on the main path. That is one good thing. Um, so I've got 190 meters left to find this GPS point. Um, and then got another about an hour and a half of bird watch. Um, well, to try and see if there's any parakeets because there wasn't any in the last one. And then after that, we're uh, going back home because it'll be about half five and about time for a bus man to dash to come and get us. I'll tell you one thing though, the mosquitoes here are horrible. <laughs> like, I've already got a bite there, put some up my arms. Like, without these things, which are actually disgusting, they're like just smoky coils that supposedly like distract or I don't know, prevent you from being bitten. But they smell like, they like incense. But they don't smell nice. But at least they keep them away for the most part. But yeah, they're everywhere. You sit down, or even if like, in some areas of the forest you don't even have to sit down. You just walk and they're just everywhere. So I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. And I was just thinking, like, it's amazing how much background noise that you forget about. Just staying silent and listening. I can hear birds over there in the valley. I can hear crickets. I can hear frogs. No one ever like just sits down and listens and appreciates what's around them. Like it's pretty awesome to just sit and listen to life. Well, to nature. It's pretty cool.
today. So, uh, as you can just see, just been up a, been up a tree. Got another one to do now. So, we clean up the nest boxes and then put new stuff in ready for the breeding season. Pretty cool.